Hello, it's me, Dolphin. Welcome back to the world of Ariel, the Little Mermaid. Ariel was still enjoying a happy life with Prince William on the mainland, but the ocean adventures of brave Ariel kept going. After defeating Madeline and protecting the soul of the seas, Ariel took over the responsibility of <laughs> Neptune Poseidon. Soon we will hold an ocean talent contest. You will compete against two talented princesses from neighboring seas to find out the one most worthy for my position. Ariel was already satisfied with her current life, but as she didn't want to disappoint her loved ones, she worked hard to prepare for the upcoming challenge. Finally, the contest day came. In front of the castle, the soul of the sea was solemnly placed on a stone pedestal. All of the inhabitants of the sea gathered looking for their champion. Apart from Ariel, two other elite representatives from faraway seas also appeared for this noble position. This is the candidate from the Arctic Sea, Princess Circe. Since her young age, she has been well known for being agile, good at magic, and able to fight as well as the best knights. Second comes Princess Sansa of the Pacific Sea. She has remarkable intelligence. Even at a very young age, she was able to help her father governing and dealing with many problems for a large territory. And my daughter, Ariel. You two can rest assured, the winner will be decided by all ocean inhabitants. The challenge will be given by the soul of the seas to ensure there is no bias. Thank you, your highness. We got it. Now, it's showtime. The soul of the seas will decide what your challenge will be. <laughs> the three were taken by the sea spirit to a cursed sea filled with fiery lava. This place had long been uninhabited because of the harsh conditions, and there was even a fierce huh? lava monster there. Your mission is to lift the curse of the sea and get the treasure that the monster is keeping. The first obstacle came huh? from the gate. There were many eyes watching. As long as someone touched the door, the rock above would immediately fall to cover the entrance. Hey, how can we get through this gate? I don't know. Maybe we need to find out a special key somewhere. I get it. You guys are so unintelligent. Look at me. Smart as Sansa was, she immediately took a magical mirror that shone towards the gate. After that, all eyes were still open, except for one immediately closed. Here you are. This is the real eye, and also the key of this gate. <laughs> it's too easy. I will be the champion. Oh, she's so smart. Are you still standing there? Quickly, chase after her. Entering the palace, Sansa was surprised to see a river of hot lava flowing under the cliff. She quickly followed the cliff and kept going forward. Sansa, be careful! It's dangerous! So, there is a sheep to clear the way. She will have to face all the danger. They were too cautious. Nothing is dangerous here. So I am about to dominate the ocean. However, things were not as easy as she thought. The heat from the lava below not only burned her skin, but also turned into an illusion of Sansa's parents that made her huh? stagger. Sansa, be careful! That's the trap of the lava monster! I know. <laughs> it's not that easy to fool me. But next time, from the bottom of the cliff, Sansa could even hear her parents' cries. Save me, Sansa! Please help us! We're about to be engulfed by lava! Dad! Mom! Wait a minute! I'm coming! Huh? Ah! Sansa fell off the edge. She luckily clung to the cliff, huh? then screamed for help. Help me! Cersei! Ariel! <laughs> Ariel wanted to quickly save Sansa, but the road was too narrow, and Cersei managed to take the front. Cersei, hurry up! Otherwise Sansa will be in danger! 
Help me! Hurry up, please! Wait a minute, I'm coming! <laughs> ah! No! Sansa! Cersei, why are you so cruel? I've already eliminated an opponent for you, right? You should have thanked me. Having no other choice, Ariel had to follow Cersei. The two kept going through the final cliff above the lava <gasps> flow. Together they entered the great hall of the lava castle. That's where the monster was hiding. It was very mm. surprised to see the two people. Cersei, be careful. Huh? We should make a plan well in advance. Working together is the only way to defeat the monster. If you get huh? scared, get out of the way. I will defeat <clears throat> it alone. But both princesses were no match for the lava monster. <laughs> Although Cersei attacked it with magic or in a duel, it was still unharmed. <laughs> Moreover, even Ariel was also knocked out. When she was almost exhausted, Ariel realized that the monster's legs were chained, so it was difficult to move far. Ariel then came up with an idea and was determined to implement it. She went to the chain, trying to provoke the monster. The monster was very angry. It threw a powerful fist at Ariel. When the monster almost banged its fist, she quickly dodged. At the same time, she gave out a sharp axe that created a great force to break the chain for the monster. Stupid! If you want to die, go ahead! Why did you unchain the monster to kill me? Don't be afraid. You are free. Huh? I... I've turned into my old shape. The chains are gone. <laughs> I am the daughter of the god who rules this sea. I'm imprisoned here as they forbade me from following my love. Therefore, I cursed this whole sea in my enmity. Now, I have realized that my blindness has caused disaster to my beloved sea. Thank you for setting this sea free. I give you this treasure. Hope it will help you. That was a red, heart-shaped ruby representing the heart of a lava monster. It was her calm and cleverness which helped Ariel overcome the challenge. Immediately, Ariel and Cersei were taken to an icy sea. In front of them was a majestic ice mountain. Your second challenge is to get the crystal located on the top of the mountain, which is also the head of the ice range. Great! I am the princess of the cold arctic, therefore I obviously have a great advantage in this challenge. But things didn't happen in the way Cersei expected. That icy sea was much harsher than her arctic. Only halfway through, Cersei was almost exhausted. Surprisingly, Ariel was unharmed. Cersei, this ruby will keep you warm and overcome the cold. We can share to reach the top together. What a treasure of the sea. If I had it, I could easily get the crystal on the top of this iceberg. Because of her greed, Cersei fired a magic beam upon the snowy mountain, creating a large snowball rolling down. Look, Ariel, what is that? When Ariel didn't stay alert, Cersei shoved her right into the place where the giant snowball was falling. Oh my god, a giant snowball! Cersei, why did you harm me like that? On the contrary to Cersei's expectation, Ariel quickly created a small hole to get in and dodged the snowball just in time. What? She still managed to escape just in time? Ariel and Cersei chased each other for a long distance. Both of them wanted to be the first to get the crystal on the top of the mountain. But in the end, Cersei was still the faster. Finally, this crystal stone is mine! I am the winner! <laughs> as soon as Cersei got the crystal, the ground immediately shook, and the snow on the top of the mountain fell off very quickly. Luckily, she was still able to hold on to the cliff. Ariel, save me, please! Although Cersei had harmed her many times, Ariel still reached out and pulled her up. 
However, as soon as she got safe, she immediately turned around and pushed Ariel down the cliff. Ariel also instantly disappeared, just like Sansa. So both of my opponents have disappeared. I will be the new successor of the Sea King ruling the seas. <laughs> I have passed both challenges and brought back two treasures. Please keep your promise. Give me the trident and the soul of the sea. <laughs> but what Cersei received was only cold and indignant glances from everyone, which made her extremely surprised. It turned out that Sansa and Ariel were not dead. They were brought back to their original location by the soul of the seas. The soul of the seas also shows the whole process for everyone to follow. We have seen all your bad behaviors and tricks to harm the others for your own benefit. You will never be accepted by the ocean. Cersei was so embarrassed because of being strongly condemned by everyone, she had no choice but to leave there. Ariel and Sansa were blessed by the spirit of the sea, so they recovered very quickly. Dear Neptune, mm. I admire Ariel's talent so much. She was a kind and passionate person. She was also intelligent and calm in all situations. She deserved to be your successor. As you can see, the inhabitants of the ocean also agreed with Sansa's opinion. Being warm-hearted while keeping a cool head is always necessary, right? <laughs> Hello, young friends. Have you ever wondered why a beautiful lady who lives in a palace is still blue? Let's find out with us in Woa Fairy Tales today's story. Once upon a time in a fish village, there was a beautiful girl named Josie. She lived in a poor fisherman's family with great care and love. Life just went on like that. However, due to that, Josie became selfish. She never helped her parents, and just always paid attention to her beauty. That day was Josie's 18th birthday. She was looking forward to her parents' present. Today is my special day. Mom and Dad will give me a special gift. What can it be? A beautiful dress? Or some valuable jewelry? But things didn't come up to her expectations. When she opened the box, it was just a chain of sparkling stone made of the sea stones or the seashells that her father found. Seashells? Sea stones? Why are those? I had tons of things like that. Why can't it be a dress? Why can't it be a piece of jewelry made of a gemstone? Josie, isn't this a beautiful necklace? Beautiful? It's just beautiful to you. You guys have never cared about me nor known what I wanted. What I needed! <laughs> Josie left her home. She wandered along the beach. Whenever she saw the stone chain, she felt self-pity again. Why am I so unlucky? Why wasn't I born in a rich family? What have I done wrongly? <laughs> in her despair, a guy from the bottom of the ocean appeared and surprised her. Why are you crying, beautiful girl? Who? Who are you? Why do you appear from the ocean? I'm the one who rules this ocean, and I saw you crying while I was passing by this area. I just want to help you. No bad intentions at all. Really? Hmm. I want to have a lot of beautiful dresses and beautiful jewelry, but my parents can't give me those things. Hearing those words, the guy's face showed a sign of satisfaction. Of course, they are so simple for me. You just need to follow me to my palace at the ocean and you will have everything you want. Do you agree? Of course I do. But how can I live underwater for a long time? I'll suffocate. That won't be a problem now. Follow me. In a blink of an eye, the guy cast a spell to create an air bubble around her head, which helped her breathe freely underwater. Those two quickly dived into the ocean and disappeared. The guy then took Josie for a walk under the ocean, and the final destination was his stunning palace. The view here really amazed Josie. This is my palace! Now let's go to a place that has the things you want! The 
Guy brought Josie to a beautiful chamber, which was full of expensive jewelry and dresses. Josie was absolutely stunned in happiness. She didn't even bother to care about her parents. Amazing! They are so beautiful! Never have I ever seen those things! Speaking of Josie's parents, since the leaving of their daughter, they had been looking for her everywhere but couldn't find her. Josie, where are you? Josie, Josie! They were really afraid when thinking of something bad might happen to their daughter. Darling, where is Josie? We have been looking for her too long, but she was nowhere to be found. What if something bad happened to her? No, it can't be! I don't know either. It's dangerous outside. Recently, people rumored that there is a sea monster that frequently appears around here. I'm afraid that... <laughs> Under the ocean, although the good-looking guys gave Josie everything she wanted, he always kept her inside and didn't allow her to go outside. Gradually, she got bored and missed her parents. Why does he keep me inside like this? It's so boring. I don't know how my parents are doing. I miss them so much. At that time, the guy appeared, huh? and Josie immediately asked him to leave the palace. Josie, how's life here? Are you comfortable? Life is good here, but I cannot go anywhere at all. And I really miss my parents. I want to leave this palace to go home. Hearing huh? those words from Josie, mm. the guy was mad, and to her surprise, he turned huh? into a sea monster. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Leave? I gave you everything you wanted, and still you want to leave? I, uh, I, uh... What do you want? You think you can go home easily like that? Never! You will stay here for the rest of your life! In the most dangerous moment, Josie didn't know what to do. She just tried to run as fast as possible to escape. You want to run? Guards, catch her and lock her down! Do not let her go anywhere! Josie was caught by the guards, and she was locked in a golden cage. It was watched huh? carefully. Please forgive me! Please! Let me go! Josie was regretful then, because she was blinded by the monster's expensive assets and left her home. Now she had to be in such a poor situation. If only I hadn't been too greedy, I wouldn't be in this situation now. The cage's door opened. Huh? An old maid stepped in and brought food for Josie. Have some food, young lady. Don't try to escape. None can leave this place. Every day, at the same time, the old lady brought food for Josie. Gradually, they became closer and mm. talked more to each other. I saw that you're a good person. Why do you work for that monster? I had a daughter. She is beautiful and young, and just about your age. She was lost in this ocean. I tried to look for her everywhere, but I couldn't find her. Then, I heard about this sea monster. I tried all ways to come here. I disguised myself as a beautiful girl and attracted his attention. He brought me here. But I couldn't find my daughter here either. Eventually, he found out about me and forced me to become his maid forever. Hearing the old lady say, Josie felt the unconditional love of parents. She remembered how much her parents loved her, but many times she failed them due to her selfishness and she didn't help them at all. I was like that too. I'm a useless girl. I threw away my parents' gift because I didn't like that. And then I was tricked to come here. I felt so guilty now. Is it a huh? chain? Yes, it is. How lucky. Why did you have it? I picked it up when I was cleaning outside the palace. Take this back <laughs> and don't worry. Your parents won't be mad at you. They are still waiting for you. No parents don't love their children, right? Despite taking back the stone chain, Josie still thought about her faults. She wanted to return home to apologize to her parents. Suddenly, she came up with a plan. Ma'am, do you want to escape here? How? You just need to do this. Huh? And this. <laughs> Turns out that Josie's plan was to ask the old lady to put soporific pills in the guard's food. Waiting until all of them fell asleep, they ran away together from the monster's palace. Those two swam to the surface of the sea and tried to escape. When they thought that they were about to make it, the monster appeared behind their back. Stop now before I get angry! Josie still kept swimming to the shore, 
but they soon got restrained by the sea monster. When seeing the old lady was kept in pain, Josie recollected her old parents, and she felt sorry for dragging her into this. It's all my fault. If I don't ask the old lady, she wouldn't have to bear the monster's wrath. The monster laughed satisfiedly. He looked at Josie and the old lady and came up with an idea to play with them. He took them to the shore and made a decision. Those two are just like fish on a plate. I should entertain myself for a bit. Today I will become a good person, so I will spare one of you. Talk about it thoroughly. The other will return with me to the palace for the rest of her life and never be able to see the sunlight again. Ha <laughs> ha! Fight for that! I want to watch a really good drama! <laughs> However, it didn't come up to his expectations. Mm. Josie immediately stood up huh? for the old lady. No need to do that. I will return to the palace with you. Spare for this lady. Huh? She is old now and shouldn't bear any hardship anymore. Why? Why does a selfish person like her do that? This isn't funny at all! <laughs> I'm not a good child. When you return, please come to see my parents and give this chain to them. I'm not worthy of it. However, when Josie huh? took the chain out, it shone miraculously. <laughs> to her and the monster's startlement, the old lady turned into a powerful fairy. You must be very surprised, right, Josie? This stone chain was my gift to your father. When I was going through this area, I saw your huh? father praying. Please, give me something for my daughter on her birthday. When we have conditions, we will definitely repay you. Your father's love for his daughter really impressed me. <laughs> so I helped him pick up this chain and made it as your talisman. Huh? <laughs> and then, when I saw it on the shore again, I knew that you were in danger. Remembering your father's sincerity, I decided to give you a last chance. <laughs> and today, you made it! I was surprised to see that in a very short time, you have learned a lesson for your selfishness and becoming better. You will return, and this chain is still yours. The monster stood there. He cannot let his prey escape like that. Don't forget that I'm still here! You had better not interfere with my business like that! Josie must belong to me forever! Get lost now! How about no? Then you have to die! Then the monster and the fairy battled. The fight was intense. None could have a chance to take the lead. Mm. Josie stood there and watched the fight. She was worried about the fairy's safety. There's no other way. Josie held the chain and prayed. Magical chain? Please give me the power to help the fairy to defeat that monster. In the blink of an eye, the chain shone bright, and the magical power of the light absorbed the monster and sealed it. Good job, Josie! Your courage and beautiful soul activated the stone chain and sealed the monster. Now, you can go home with your parents. Josie thanked the fairy and said goodbye to her to return home. <laughs> Josie came home to everyone's surprise. She immediately <laughs> hugged her parents. Mm. Father, mother, I'm sorry for making you sad. I'm sorry for everything. Huh? It's all right, Josie, huh? no problem. It's important that you return. Mm. Since then, Josie had changed. She was no longer selfish and cared more about other people. <laughs> and she never let her parents down again. <laughs> How would you react when you meet someone that huh? looks the same as you? The main character in the story that Woa Fairy Tales is going to tell today has an interesting encounter with someone who looks like her. <laughs> Moreover, she is even a mermaid. What would happen next? Let's find out with us. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful girl whose name was Seraphia. She lived with her father in a small house next to the beach. Every day they would go to the coral reef to catch fish. She didn't know who her mother was, and the father never told about her either. All she got that was related to her mother was a pearl necklace that she wore since childhood. Seraphia loved surfing, but the small waves near the shore never satisfied her. 
She always wanted to try out the big waves far from the shore. But her father never let her go out of the coral reef. On her 18th birthday, her father had to go catch fish offshore with other men in the village. Yes. Therefore, she decided to go to the reef to mark this special moment. The big waves really attracted her. This time, the shadow of a strange creature captured Seraphia's attention. The collision with it made her fall down in the water. The waves dragged her to the reef, which made her feet stuck there. When she managed to escape, Seraphia realized that her necklace was shining. A girl staying behind a rock was looking at her. Hello? I'm Sophia. Who are you? Hi, I'm Selena. <laughs> huh? Huh? We look exactly the same, even the necklace. I've never seen it shining. Neither was mine. How strange it is. It seems that we could attach them together. <laughs> when the two necklaces were attached, a stream of power released, which startled both of them. <laughs> a while later, their talk was disrupted by a witch. Finally, I found you two. Without an explanation, <laughs> the witch suddenly attacked them. Selena was caught by the witch. While she was about to catch Seraphia, someone attacked her and the witch was hurt. Feeling that she couldn't defeat Seraphia's father, the witch took Selena to the sea. After calming her down, Seraphia's father told her everything. One hundred years ago, there was a sea monster that devastated the whole ocean. The king of mermaids asked the gods for help, and he was given a powerful trident. Together with the trident, the king managed to defeat the monster, but its dark power hadn't gone yet. Therefore, the king used his trident to create a realm to imprison that power. Since then, the trident was passed down to other kings. Their duty was to protect that dark power from any menacing force. Eighteen years ago, the queen gave birth to a twin, but she passed away right after since she was too weak. The witch Sierra knew that the king was missing his wife very much, so she took advantage of that to harm him. While the king wasn't in a good state, she poisoned him with a poison that can't be cured. When he realized that was Sierra, it was too late. Knowing that he didn't have much time left and the two princesses were too small to continue his responsibility, the king immediately summoned the elders to figure out a way. After discussing, they all agreed that the dark power should be separated to avoid the dark forces. Each princess would keep a half of it. You and Selina are those two princesses. When I felt a strange source of power, I had to come back quickly. The witch found out about you two because of that. Now I'll go save Selina. You stay at home until I return. Father, let me go with you. Hmm? No, this is too dangerous. I'm the princess of the Mermaid Kingdom and Selina's sister. This is my responsibility. Please let me go with you. All right, but before we go, I'll teach you this. <laughs> the father helped Seraphia unleash the royal power that she possessed. 
and taught her how to use it. After trying a few times, she started to gain control of it. <laughs> they started to go find and rescue Selina. Reaching the palace, they saw that Selina with her stepmother were tied to a pillar. I've waited for you too long. Now come here and give me the necklace, or else I will finish them! <laughs> After having the necklaces, she started to absorb dark power from them. Now, no one can stop me from rolling the ocean! <laughs> Put them in jail! They will become the giant octopus's food tomorrow! I'm sorry. It was because of me that we're in this situation now. I'm sorry too. You two don't have to blame yourself. This is our fate. Sooner or later, we'll have to face it. What do we have to do now? Only the Trident is strong enough to fight back Sierra now. But after the King passed away, no one has ever seen mm -hmm. it again. If only the Trident is strong enough to fight back that dark power. Oh, isn't it? Surprisingly, huh? when Selena touched the pearl, a miracle happened. <laughs> Sierra was still overjoyed with her new power and dreamt of ruling the ocean. However, the door was wide open, which surprised her. How could you enter here? Guards! Your guards have been knocked down. Mm? She was quite worried when she saw the trident in Seraphia's hand. Uh? The trident? It has been lost for so many years. How could you find it? This is a gift from our father. But with a power from two children like you, how could you fight back my dark power? Then she suddenly attacked them. Seraphia started to fight back, but the Trident's power couldn't do anything to the witch. The Trident is supposed to restrain her, but why couldn't it? Huh? Selina, we have to unite our power! After resisting for a while, Sierra couldn't hold any longer. At that time, she came up with a devious plan. She hypnotized the two sisters, letting them see the image of the king and the queen. Father! Mother! You two are still alive? Seeing that the two sisters weren't <gasps> focusing, the stepfather knew that the witch did something to them. No! Seraphia! Selina! Those aren't your parents. Don't follow the king's trace. Hearing the father's voice, the twins awoke, gained back their will, and defeated Sierra. After Sierra disappeared, the dark power escaped. But right after that, a new seal covered around it. After everything was settled, Seraphia let Selina become the queen, protecting the mermaid kingdom and the dark power, since she was used to life on the shore. This responsibility, now I count it on you. I will still live near the sea, so when something bad happens, remember to call me. Seraphia <laughs> returned to the shore and lived happily. And this time, her father didn't forbid her anymore. She could go surfing anytime she wanted. <laughs>